Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how-to style, and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and then clicking the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today's video, we are going to talk about nine reasons as to why your hair might be dry. And number 10, I'll kind of give you like an honorable mention, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started, and I know this has nothing to do with the video, but I just kind of want to check in with you guys to make sure that I am not crazy. This is a little bit more of a work situation. So if you don't know by trade, by corporate America, I'm an independent adjuster. And basically what that is, is I contract myself out on storms for commercial. I'd get contracts. Let's say for instance, a hurricane comes through your restaurant named Joe's Burgers. There's damage. I am the person that's handling the actual estimates and things like that. I am the adjuster who is going to settle your claim. So I would probably say, I took because I, I took on a new contract and I would probably say, this was last week. When I tell you my pinky toe was out of the door, I was gonna ready to call my manager and say, listen, I can't do this. My, tinky, my pinky toe was out of the door. So let me just kind of explain to y'all what happened. I just wanna make sure in the comments, let me know if you think I'm crazy or if that's just like, why? So for this particular contract, you have to get approval for anything. If I get the damage estimate back and it says we, we owe the insured one cent, I have to get approval for that, okay? I would say right now I probably have about 50 claims. And on this particular day, I would probably say I started around nine. I think it was like 4.30 by the time this had happened. So I would say I started at nine and I think around like 4.30 is when I sent my last request. I would say probably about this time I had sent maybe a good four or five. I think at this time I was like on my sixth request. So whenever you send a request, you're supposed to send it to your manager through email. And I will admit I do write books because I want you to understand what it is that I want you to approve for me to pay. So I don't know if my manager had gotten tired of reading my books or what have you. So I sent him my last book of the day and he emails me back and he says, I'm not your manager, please forward these to your manager. Now, for the past eight hours, I have been sending you these requests for approval so I can actually pay these claims and get them closed. You're going to notify me at the end of the day on the very last one that you are no longer my manager. So I emailed him back and I said, you are not my manager. He replies back and he says, no, I was just doing intake. I'm sorry if this was not communicated to you. So for the past week, for this entire day, you decided that at the end of the day, you were going to tell me that you're not my manager. So number one, why did you wait until the end of the day? And number two, who is my manager? Because just like myself, then I get into my Microsoft Teams and I said, you know, hey, did y'all know that this person is no longer our manager? One of my teammates immediately IMZ back and says, well, who is? Because I've sent this same person seven requests. Is it just me? Am I crazy? Or should you have notified me in the beginning of the day? Because now I have to go through my emails and my claims to actually, well, first of all, I have to figure out who my manager is because you, you don't know. And then I have to sift through my emails to see who I'm actually supposed to forward these requests to. Just let me know in the comments what, if you think I'm crazy. But I, then I emailed my manager for the actual contract and I said, blank, don't ever, 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 ever sign me up for this assignment or this contract again. Because here's the thing about me and what you will learn. Whenever I do something, whenever, whenever I'm on a contract, I want to make sure that I do that job to the best of my ability. And this is not me tooting my own horn, but how I've been able to handle commercial claims for millions of dollars is because of my work ethic. It's because I know what I'm doing. If I don't have the tools to do my job, I cannot do my job, okay? I do my job to the 100% of my ability. But if you do not give me the tools to do my job, 
then I cannot do my job, okay? That is, I guess, like my first rant of YouTube, of like outside of fashion. So just, and hair. So just let me know in the comments if you think I'm crazy, if I'm reading too much into it, or if management should have said something to me in the beginning of the day and not eight hours later, okay? So now what y'all really came for, like I said, is going to be nine reasons as to why your hair is dry. And I know this very first one, it's not controversial, but it's one that you hear all the time, but it is very true. The first one as to why your hair is dry is because you do not drink enough water. For me personally, that's literally all that I drink. I drink water and I drink tea. Y'all know at this point in my obsession with the medicine ball, David has now bought all the ingredients to make them at home. But other than that, literally all I drink is tea and water. When David drinks juice, I will take a couple of sips from him, but you will never see me come to the kitchen, get a cup and just pour an entire cup of juice. I stopped drinking juice, I wanna say, probably sophomore year of college. I have not been a juice drinker in that long, okay? So water, 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 hydrate. Your body is made up of mostly water if you did not know that. But I want you kind of to think of like your hair or the scalp on the, the skin on your head, which is your scalp, as kind of like your skin and the rest of your body. If your body is dehydrated, if your skin is dehydrated, you need to what? You need to moisturize it, drink, water okay number two and again i know you have heard this one a hundred times before but it reads true every single time i know there are some ladies out there who have a significant other who have a lover who have a husband who have a wife and they just simply refuse to do it but i am telling you you will notice a huge difference your hair is dry because you do not wear a bonnet okay i know they are not sexy but if you do not, especially if you don't lay on a silk pillow, if you are laying on like the rest of us or mostly the rest of us, if you are laying on a cotton pillow, aside from it drying your hair out, the friction on your hair for eight hours, whether you sleep six hours to eight hours every night or if you sleep four, the friction of your hair against that pillow will dry out your hair so bad also not to mention the breakage okay and even when people say well I, I you know i sleep on satin sheets or i sleep on a satin pillow good for you okay we had we've just bought some sheets from etitude they're like silk based or bamboo i still wear a bonnet i still wear a bonnet and i still wear a silk scarf okay if you are not doing that i really encourage you for just maybe like a week Go to your local beauty supply store and wear a bonnet for a week and let me know whether or not you see a difference. I promise you that you will, okay? Number three, you don't seal in your moisture. You have spent all of this time shampooing, deep conditioning, detangling, conditioning your hair, and then you don't seal it in, okay? So I know some people use the LOC method, which is leave-in, oil, and then conditioner. And then some people use the LCO method, which is leave-in, conditioner, and then oil. This is going to be more so, you're going to have to learn your hair. I know that for me right now, what works is the LOC method. So I use a leave-in, I use an oil, and then I use a conditioner or a moisturizer, okay? Make sure that you are sealing in your moisture, okay? If you don't do that, your hair will be very crispy, it'll be very dry, and that's going to lead to breakage, okay? Number four, as to why your hair might be dry, you don't clarify your hair. And I know people, you know, this whole thing about sulfates and shampoo, that is correct. The sulfates in the shampoo, they do strip your hair of the essential oils, but sometimes that is necessary. If you are going to do that, something with sulfates or something that strips your hair to get it clean, I would say do that once a month or you can do it every two months. I know a lot of people are using the bentonite clay. I have not tried it myself. Every single time I go to the beauty supply store and I make my list, I forget to put it on there, okay? 
And here's the reason why. If you are consistently putting product after product after product on your hair and you are not clarifying it when it comes to shampoo or cleansing your scalp, however you cleansing your hair, however you choose to do it, those products are going to start building up and they're actually going to start to form like not they're actually going to start to form like a film on your hair. So that way, when you do go to moisturize, wash your hair, or try to reapply products, it, it's not going to seep through because you have this barrier of products that have just been caked up on your hair, okay? So make sure that you are actually clarifying your hair. Like you heard me say, you do not have to shampoo your hair every week, every two weeks, whatever your regimen is, whatever your wash schedule is, you do not have to use a clarifying shampoo or a sulfate shampoo every single time you wash your hair because that within itself again will dry your hair out but make sure that you are actually clarifying your hair okay number five the products that you are using especially when it comes to your moisturizer contains alcohol okay alcohol is very drying and you all know what i'm referring to whenever you like use like of course right now we are in the era or we are in the year still of covid whenever you put on the hand sanitizer what happens right after that your hands become dry right what happens if you get a cut and you need to actually um sanitize the cut you know your mother your father or yourself you know when you were younger would put alcohol on it it would sting but also after a couple of minutes that patch of skin or that area of skin will start to feel dry. Imagine putting that on your scalp and imagine that actually being on your hair. It's going to dry it out. And here's a tip for you. If you take one of your products, actually look at the ingredients. If the very first ingredient is water or something like that, you will be okay. But if you don't know, when you start looking at the ingredients, look at the, look at the actual placement of the ingredient because that will let you know how much is actually in that product, okay? So one of the reasons why your hair might be dry is because your products contain alcohol, okay? Number six, you don't deep condition. And this is a topic probably in every natural hair care form. And I myself have definitely gotten better to get gotten better with this and I can attest to it. Deep conditioning is very, 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 so, 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 so important for your hair to thrive and for it not to be dry. So me personally, I use Ali K Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. What I will say about this is that it smells absolutely lovely, but it also works. I cannot stand when products smell absolutely lovely and they do nothing for your hair, okay? The other thing I want you to watch out for is whenever you are going to do a mask, whenever you are going to do a deep conditioner, make sure it states that. Don't just use any type of conditioner. Make sure that you are using an actual deep conditioner, okay? The other thing that I will say to you, I think this one is anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes. With the technology, all of the things that we are finding out about deep conditioning and, and naturally curly hair, this whole thing about having to sleep in your conditioner, having to leave it on for hours on end is not necessary anymore. Use or abide by the instructions on the bottle. You don't need to, sl you don't need to sleep overnight with your deep conditioner abide by the instructions okay number seven when it comes to your products you might be confusing it with a style and a moisturizer so let me give you an example so this one right here is meal or mile however you decide you want to pronounce it it is the rosemary mint daily styling cream now within the title it says rosemary mint daily styling cream just because it is a styling cream does not necessarily mean that it is going to be a moisturizer, okay? Now, like I just said in a previous tip, we are in the year of 2022 and we have a lot of technology and research at our hands. A lot of companies have gotten hip to this and they are actually doing a two for one, meaning that this can style, it's going to be a style cream and it's also going to be a moisturizing cream. So, I also have this one. This is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And right here, it says Moisturize and Curl Define, okay? So just make sure that when you are using your products that you are not mistaking a styling cream with a moisturizing cream, okay? It might add a step to your hair care regimen or to you doing your hair for the day, 
but you will be happier or you will start to realize a difference once you actually pay attention to the products that you are using, okay? Number eight, as to why your hair might be dry is excessive styling. If you have watched any of my videos before, you guys know that I have self-diagnosed myself with hands and hair syndrome. Anytime that I'm in the house or anytime that I am not filming, my hair is up. Why? Because if not, I will sit here for hours on end with my hands in my hair, just simply pulling and pulling and playing in my twist, okay? Over manipulation, heat, consistently messing with your hair, doing your hair every single day could actually be drying it out. You will, if you are a part of the natural hair community, you will hear some women who are considered lazy naturals. They barely do anything to their hair. I am not a lazy natural, but what I can tell you is that the least amount of times that I touch my hair or the less that I do with my hair, I find that my hair actually really thrives, okay? So if excessive styling and excessive heat might be a reason as to why your hair is dry. Okay, and the last reason as to why your hair might be dry, and I would consider this kind of like a sneaky culprit. In fact, when I was doing research for this video, every single time I would type in what is a culprit of dry hair, this was the number one thing that came up. And this was actually for curly hair, or straight hair and it is hard water and you might ask okay well what is that so hard water you know when you're like washing your dishes and you see like little streaks and little spots that's hard water let's say for instance when you're taking a shower and you notice like little spots like if you have a glass shower let's say for instance you take a shower you've cleaned up and everything has dried and you go back in your bathroom and you notice there are like little spots on your shower that is hard water and again the reason why it is drying your hair out is it because it contains a lot of minerals especially magnesiums and calcium in very very high qualities okay so if that is consistently being on your hair it is going to form a film around your hair and there have actually been cases of people's hair falling out because they are washing their hair with hard water okay a couple of things that you can do, I have heard people say that they do boil their water. That is very time consuming. You can actually burn yourself like that. And then of course the next step would be to get a water softening system, okay? So the next thing I wanna mention is kind of like an honorable mention and we will consider this number 10. And it is going to be biotin, a lack of biotin. And when I was doing my research, a lack of biotin is actually pretty rare, like it's a health condition, like if you have like a lack of calcium or like a lack of potassium. So a lack of biotin is very rare. You should be able to get the exact biotin that you need from a well-balanced diet. You know, your fruits, your vegetables, your water and everything like that. So if you actually lack biotin, you need to consult a doctor because that is actually a deficiency and it is very rare. You should be able to get the biotin that you need from a well-balanced diet. Um, if you don't care about your well-balanced diet, that's fine. Or if you just want to do, or if you just want to have an uptake, or if you just want to uptake your biotin, a couple of things that you can do. You can take biotin pills, or you can take the hair, skin, and uh, nail pills. What I will say to you is this: if you are a hairy person watch out for the biotin pills and the hair skin and nail company the hair will grow but it's not just on your head okay it's everywhere else that hair grows that is the reason why i started taking it i'm already a hairy person i don't need to do any extra shaving and i don't need any hair popping up in areas that i did not know hair could grow okay the last tip that I have for you, just like when people start talking, when people start taking MSM, is do the biotin pills or the powder, however you want to do it, do it in increments. People have reported that if they just go full speed ahead, that they get a headache. And also make sure during the day, if you are going to take biotin, make sure that you are drinking water, which was my first tip as to why your hair is dry. So everything has now come full circle, okay? So those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. Let me know what other tips you guys have or other reasons to why you think your hair might be dry. I just want to remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then of course, you know, right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.